7, 11. 11. First item on the agenda is public forum. Anyone has anything to say? There's nobody here today, so we can move on to uh, fiscal 2019 budget discussion. So today, we're going to discuss CPC first, and we have Henry Knicki here to go over the different, uh, I guess, rec recommendations at this point, or? Yep. Yeah, I looked at uh, the way you've got it broken out for this year. And, yeah. Um, we have a re recommendation, and you have a motion in section. This year, then you're doing a little bit this year, I think. Yeah, no, the recommendations are the required recommendations at town meeting. Okay. Yeah, for administrative purposes. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll break them down as, as we, we're going on. We, we actually voted on, on these in two separate weeks because uh, we had a couple of things we needed to clear up the second week. Uh, but, in, but in the basic order of, of the way I'm paying, but there were, the, for the first, first group, that basically the town is going to be moving uh, 200 some thousand dollars for things that we're, that we're recommending that are not bonded. The first being a uh, $25,000 from, from historical preservation of land records and, the, and with, the, with the town clerk. We've been doing this for four to five years right now. Yeah. So we're basically preserving all of the old records. And uh, this has been, uh, in the view of everyone in the committee, a, a good use for the money. Uh, the vote on this was, was unanimous. So it's uh, something consistent. Uh, the second item was $4,650. From passive recreation to complete a, a conservation restriction on land we acquired prior. And these <clears throat> restrictions for open space, for, uh, they're required. We basically uh, have to follow them at a certain point, and this is just what it cost uh, for the conservation restriction. The first one was for property at the bottom of uh, East Main Street by the Methodist Church property. Uh, the second one, which uh, was 6,200, was five was restriction on 5.34 acres on Granite Street in Hayden Row, and then we basically had one for 8,655 dollars to be recorded for the center, center trail. This was a conservation restriction, or to amend the restriction for the center trail that was recorded previously. So that's what those three are for. Uh, e was $50,000 from funds requested by the, by the town, by the, um, who requested that? Parks and Rec. Yeah, Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec. Uh, for cameras for EMC, for Fruit Street, for Sandy Beach, because they've had uh, quite a bit of uh, worry about vandal, vandalism and everything else there. Uh, they're not going to be tied and monitored. I'm actually going to volunteer to uh, uh, help help them with the selection of the stuff because I've been in, the, in that business for years. So uh, we'll see what we can do to get, a, to get the best use of the money for systems that basically can store the data for several days and, and be pulled remotely. You know. So it should be it should be doable fairly easily. So basically, once you they find out something's happened, they go and take the right. pull the data from it from right. the cameras. Yeah, it's, it's basically all going to be on uh, on hard disk, mm -hmm. so it's not tape tape driven. We can get basically pretty much waterproof things. The big headache is making sure we can locate it so someone can't get at them. There are some hidden type of cameras that I'm very familiar with that we can we could use and uh, people won't even know they're there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what it's meeting. 
that? Unless they go to town meeting. Yeah. Well, no. They, they just know they're somewhere there. They just know they're being put in. <laughs> they'll have no idea what they look like. Okay. And all of these uh, items were, were basically voted unanimously. And then there was $150,000 for funds reserved for, for passive recreation for the design and construction of the dog park. Our understanding is there is additional money from a grant that's being provided to provide additional funds for that. Uh, so that's, that is why we voted to go along with that. And once again, I believe the vote for that was, I think that was unanimous also. Uh, I would like to make a note on that just so you're aware of it. I'm seeing correspondence. One showed up in my house today. I would expect there would be some protest over over the over the dog park at the town meeting. So be prepared. Can I ask why? Hmm? What's well, the protest? My first the, question is, what was the first amount that we already approved? Fifty thousand. So it was a total of two hundred thousand. There's at least additional two hundred thousand coming from. I don't know whether it's state or a fund, but they, they basically have, have gotten permission to, you know, notification to be given, given the money. Um, a lot of the abutters and the people in that area are going to uh, get up and basically protest over the parking and expansion of what it was originally. So I'm just saying be prepared. And I would expect to be, uh, this will take probably, that section will probably, you know, the long one in this whole whole process. Where is the location? Hmm? Where where is it's uh it's back, back in the okay. if you you know it's off eighty five, but mm -hmm. there are some people are complaining there could be people would be trying to park down the other end uh, in Charles View. So okay. we had when we first did this a year and a half, two years ago, uh, we had a packed house mm -hmm. uh, of people the first time, I expect it will be the same group and then additional at town meeting mm -hmm. trying to slow that down or stop this portion. So just, we'll try and probably bring it out of the, out of the rest of it. So it may be something be prepared to break it out. Yeah, we, the selectman's office has received uh, correspondence from Abatas expressing concerns. That in the project. Yeah. How many parking spaces are there that are uh, planned? I, it was only about eight or nine off Hayden Row, and uh, basically they were looking to uh, put a few, just a few down the other end, but I, I don't know what the, I really did get a chance, this thing showed up uh, at the house today, my wife told me about it, and I barely had it, I haven't even seen it yet. Well, that, so. Is there like a, another article about this? Or does this require any kind doesn't of doesn't require approval? because remember there was there was a previous approval mm -hmm. there for was. initial funds. Okay. So this thing is going forward. Right. They have a grant, so this is basically This is just the funding, but it, is, that's all that they need yeah. from, there, from the town meeting perspective. Is there planning board requirements or it's already it's yeah. already well the, the property itself is all all approved. Everything is is approved on this thing. Property is all right. Oh, we own the property, but the parking. Oh. The parking. Exactly. parking. Exactly. I don't know how what uh, what additional approvals, if any, they're going to need. So I did go to an original meeting for the dog park, mm -hmm. and there was much discussion over who has first right of use of that piece of property. Yeah. Is has that been resolved? At this point, no. I know they're. Resolving oh, the trail yeah. component and yeah, that was resolved. Yeah. The trail yeah. and then yes. and the dog park itself. So, so this, so this is now everything. Everybody else is because this was last in line as far as I was understanding. Yeah, I think it's much ado about nothing, but they'll it'll it will be it'll be I expect to be the contentious point if we have any at all in this. I mean, this is the first time this has been a problem that, you know, we purchased this pro property. The other one was Elmwood Farm. We're trying to put parking spaces in, and they seem to change their minds. So we're spending a lot of money on, on this, these properties. And there's not, there's none, almost none of the money is going into, into parking. 
But that's not that's the, uh, not the point. We purchased this property. I think was it with the idea of it being the part of the trail or part it of was the trail was and the and basically we had space to set aside in it for a dog park. Yeah. But I think the original purchase, the original purpose of the purchase was trails related, correct? It was trails related and and also open space, uh, open, open space and also dog park was mentioned originally. Okay. So it was all tied together. Just to answer some of the questions asked, the concept plan shows 35 general parking spaces. And in terms of approvals, the planning board has not reviewed the dog park. Okay. Their involvement would be approval of a site plan for the parking lot, but there has not been an application as of yet. Uh, the dog park is a park and rec commission project. There is a dog park subcommittee, the one that you were referring to earlier. Um, that committee has been meeting regularly. The conceptual plan approved by the Board of Selectmen in 2017 is the one that I referenced, it does show about yeah. 35 parking spaces. Once it gets out of it, once we voted on the vote of the money, we don't see these projects again until they're actually under construction or after we've acquired property. Right. So, but this came out of the blue, so I just want everyone to be aware. There are probably going to be some protests, probably a plan. We'll go with planning first. Yeah. So. so the total cost of this dog park is in excess of two hundred uh, four hundred thousand dollars. If they've got a grant for two hundred, yeah, then two hundred yeah. from CPC between the fifty and the hundred fifty this year. Yeah. Uh, I thought that the uh, grant made up to two hundred. That's the, the grant is for two hundred. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. $100,000. Four hundred dollars. It's an expensive dump park. I hope it has good choice. <laughs> okay. Any more questions on any of the uh, pieces that up to up to now? These are all out of uh, no borrowing involved. This is no borrowing involved. Then we got into some of the additional ones that started coming along now were for, for, for property uh, purchasing and some, and some items where we were doing some bonding. First one was uh, $143,000 for open space to acquire 20.86 acres of land, Kalawa Farm off the off Hayden Row, and to be managed and controlled by open space. And it's basically uh, is contiguous with uh, with the trails group uh, as they're going forward, and we believe this is going to be a pretty good, a good long run of uh, pro property. It's it's excellent property to be developed. It adjoins where the property, where the Hughes property was. The 192. Yeah. Up. So it's uh, it basically expands that whole area for recreation. Uh, we also then had a $198,000 for open space to acquire 38.35 acres of land off 35 Cedar Street. And this is once again for a passive recreation, conservation and passive recreation. Who's that? Is that Cedar Street is the one that if you go up, it's 85 on the outside of Maine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like between town and the... Well, it's headquarters or is well, it really part of all that? This is if you if you really think down the, the back end of it. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me check two, one, 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 one. Is that the uh, that's the one zero and thirty nine Cedar Street? Is yeah. when you're coming down the hill. Yep. Yeah. You'll see the swamp. Mm -hmm. No, after the back. Two, two reasons for it at the back. Okay. Yes. Those are the two reasons. Yeah. Two two reasons we, we agreed to we, we agreed to fund them this. Number one, it's a continuous trail that'll loop from where the center trail is potentially and leave be it allow allows the town to leak all over to Ashland eventually. Oh, okay. It also is an ide ideal place to for the stormwater runoff from the town. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Is it yeah. So and that's that's a big yeah. plus for that piece of property. Okay. Yeah. And so the, 
down below. Right. Yeah. It's okay. down the down the bottom and of the then, hill. Okay. Off to the left yeah. as you're going down the hill. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Can, I, can I go back to A? Yes. So where is it? Is, is there an address? Is it a like a house there? Is anything there? Or is it just? Um, it's there. There's no house there right now. Uh, it's a thirty some th thirty some acres. Twenty point eight six. Yeah, twenty twenty point eight six. It's 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 sort of tucked in behind Charles. Park, yeah. Correct. And it's a long stretch too. This this picks up the uh, the, the rail bed and everything else. So that okay. that, that goes down about almost a half a mile. Well, didn't we already purchase that? We had some. We had some of that, and this is the rest of that whole area. So that ties everything together down in there. It's the last block that was open. So. This was not the Betty Wyckoff property, or this was more of the Betty Wyckoff property? North of the north Betty Wyckoff yeah. property. So the so next piece north of Granite Street. Yeah. I think it was famously known as the Colela Farm. It was the okay. last piece of the Colela Farm that, that was okay. available. North of Granite Street. Yeah, okay. That's the other side. Okay. So we bid, the town basically has that whole block of, of property at this point then. So this money is not. The money that's being borrowed is not to... No, not it's food. not borrowing. They we're not right. borrowing for a property. So you're just going to actually use the funds to pay for this? We're using the funds we have to Great. pay for it. Okay, right. and for all oh. three of these? For the first... For the first, for the first two. For A and B. Okay, okay. $600,000. The next two are borrowing. borrowing. There's $600,000 for lighting and fruit street for the fields. That'll extend the season considerably into the evening. And this basically is, uh, they were trying to do it with portable light, lighting. It's really not the way to do it. Uh, so it takes care of all the safety issues they have for that. Extends the, uh, the operation of the fields up considerably into the later in the evening and, and extends the season out. In fact, so we to check with that since there were questions. This is the first one. Just not, this is Teresa, and this is the big person. And this is he, right? This, yes, the one you bought before. This is. No, 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 the uh, um, the uh, athletic fields are a different article. Oh, okay, I'm going yeah. with. Did I lose something? No, you, you did not. Okay, okay. well, my readers. We like to. Scared me for a second. There, I'm going to second. Twenty-three. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is Hayden. Okay. 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 And this is the dog park. This is. Or just the the, the, the land. Yes. No, oh, the turf field project. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm trying. The dog park. Not the dog park. Yeah. I was actually looking for the remote for the TV so I can beam it on the TV. I don't see the remote. Yeah, the other, the other piece was, uh, was, was buried in, it's going to be in Article 23, and that's the turf field project and lighting for that area also. So the turf field project, we're putting a million dollars into it for the non-turf components that we're allowed to. We really got into this with the town attorney and said, okay, what are we allowed to do? What aren't we allowed to do? You're not allowed to do the turf itself, or the or the like the, the layer just under yeah. underneath it. Yeah. Uh, so we basically said, all right. We looked at everything else that was in there. We said, okay, we can. We'll put a town. We'll, CPC funds will put a million dollars into the allowable components. And there's a million dollars. This is article 23. 23. Yeah. yeah. Page 19. And then the seven hundred and twenty thousand dollars was for lighting for the fields for the school. So this is different. So just to answer that question. There's the two. Dog, the one next to. Oh, okay. Yes. That's the dog park. The dog park's actually built. Yes. Are, they, are they going to connect? Yeah. Also, I'm sorry. Yeah. This is the dog park. That's the one they're proposing. This they're adjacent, but they're not. This is not going to be part of the dog. It's park. not going to be right. one no. big dog park. No, the dog park will actually be fenced in. Okay. So this, there's seven hundred and twenty. Yeah. in. Yeah, the seven hundred twenty thousand dollars is for the lighting. 
And that's and then what's the six that will be the borrowing of oh, Fruit Street. Okay. I'm yeah, sorry. and Fruit Street. We Fruit have two Street. two lighting components. Yep. One's Fruit Street. The other is in, as part of the school okay. component. Got it. So, so we just we found it was the only way we could really figure out how to do this. Right. Right. Do they have electricity at the fields? At which Fruit fields? Street? Uh, they do no, because they have portable lights there. So yeah, they actually did. Good. They actually pulled had power lines come in. Okay. Uh, they had to do that as part of putting the uh, the well the, 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 the well and the stands in, stands in. Okay. So that the, the lighting component, the the power pull was done already. Yeah. Okay. So it's six hundred fifty for the fruit street and seven twenty k for the for, the for the school. Yeah. Okay. The electricity was upgraded for the facility currently under construction. Mm -hmm. We were in a, con in a telephone call with Jay this morning um, asking him to check in with Eversource with regard to information that Eversource had previously shared with us. When we were proposing, remember the school? Mm -hmm. I know you yes, asked the that's question. Why I asked. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. When we were proposing the 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 well the well site, they quoted us multi million dollars yeah. Yeah. for for the upgrade. So we've asked you to, to look into into okay. that issue. Good. Yeah. Okay. Now as to the type of lighting, there's a, there's there's two different types of lighting they can be using. That's going to be up to the uh, school yeah. committee and all this. They said LED. They were going to put an LED. I think that's the way the whole town's going. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's the LEDs right. will be, you know, long. Uh, long could long be a slightly a little bit more upfront, but right. long term, right? Exactly. Will, you know, better overall. Yeah. The question was, you know, the technology has just gotten there with LEDs for the for the lighting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that was the issue, whether it was there or not. I did the same size, similar size, in terms of how many lights or. Probably a little bit more where the schools are. Okay. Because um, you've got two two fields at. Uh, at uh, Fruit Street to worry about, as opposed to you know the, with the location of the fields and the how they're laying the fields out for the schools, a little bit a little bit bigger. That's why the 120 difference yes. and some lighting. Okay. And are these LED lights at issue? I believe they're going to be. They have a choice of different two they were looking at, two different types. Okay. And LED was seemed to be getting gaining traction on that. But that's that's in the decision making of the school committee and, and the uh, parks and rec. They'll probably go with the same style of lighting for both locations, so they get a better price. Right, like energy efficient. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> and surprisingly, we had no real controversies last week, which was, which was wonderful. And so were all the uh, votes unanimous? All right? unanimous on these. Yeah, there were a couple projects that we killed and had put aside. They were unanimous the other way. Yeah. <laughs> Regardless of yes or no, it's yeah. always unanimous. Now, when we passed the 3.5 for tariff, it was already included this, didn't it? Yes. That's part of, that's part of the, the motion. Uh, the motion, the motion yeah. yeah. But this, uh, this, this one, um, C here, is for Fruit Street, so it's different. Fruit Street yeah. is not, but the tariff is. Yeah. Now, Article 23 is school, and <coughs> the fruit street is on the obviously yeah. TPC articles. Yeah. But I would expect they'll get a better price if they bid them together. Yeah. Well, they've already bid <laughs> yeah. the school one, so okay. so they have a they have a uh, ex they have a bid that as soon as it passes at town meeting, they can move forward. Okay. Yeah. So I think it'll obviously be separate, but. Do we have all the, are we done discussing the specific uses? Mm -hmm. Do we have all the information we need for like um, the buck what are, what are in the buckets? I think I've seen it's, that. It's in your pocket that we shared with you tonight. We actually met with the Mr. Chairman. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> and they do with the problem with transfers. Yeah, we basically they're doing the transfers to correct buckets to make sure the buckets are all done. Yeah. That'll be the first part of all the work. So Article 26, we're replacing it. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. The yeah, Article 26, they're moving. So basically, 484,000 from 
active passive, 112,000 each for historic community open space, and 300,000 from budgeted reserve. So, so this takes the money and puts it into these buckets. The correct buckets where we voted everything from. So this is the putting. For, this is for 19. This is yeah. putting the money into the buckets. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. How many, what, how many buckets do we have right now? You're looking at one, two, three, four. Four buckets plus a, plus a reserve, essentially. Okay. There's one that's, that's still there, that's an open, that is a passive, okay. that goes away as soon as whatever money is in it is exhausted. Okay. So that's the, the one that disappears. It doesn't get funded anymore. No, that won't get it funded anymore. Too. That goes weird. away. Okay. And so when the state does whatever match they do, it just goes in the same proportion. Correct. And that is not included in here, is that correct? No. No. Okay. And um, we understand so far this coming year, it's at least uh, 11. 11, and they're talking about getting more money for the board, so. Yeah, Strong Voice is advocating for an increased budget allocation for CPC. Yeah. However, the notice from GOA currently says the state match will be 11%. How many towns have done CPC? Too many. <laughs> we were like we're one, of the, we were yeah, we're one of the first ones, ones and right. everyone's right. jumping in. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. So the this what do you call it, the spending this year, do we need to count on the these this revenue coming in? For this year, for the money we're putting out, we already have that money there. We already have that. Yeah. So, okay. And then for the for the bonding, basically, we, it depends on how many years they're going to bond this out. It's generally town treasurer makes that decision, and they just come out of the buckets for each year. We reserve the money for that first. We can't touch that. Yeah. So we never go into that piece of it. Okay. So so we already have the money from where from previous reserve. From, well, from last year and from the money that's kind of being put in. It was already allocated for this year, so. Do we have the we had, balances in the buckets that we are starting with before we add this in? We, we didn't share that before, I believe. We had it before, but I didn't know if it was the final amounts. We, we can provide that again. Okay. Because the one, we had it in the draft report for appropriation. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think you were saying that, that these have to be updated. Yeah, well, the, the, yeah, the draft report probably didn't have the, la the, la the latest numbers that went into it. So no, it, it wouldn't, but it had the FY18. 18, 18, right. So, so the question then becomes, are they good at the beginning? Are these the good starting point numbers and then add this in to get to the amounts? Yeah, they were. Okay. Yeah, yeah we, were, we were confident on the FY18 where we were. We just didn't know exactly how much was being put in additionally for 19. Okay. So that part is coming from where this is, is his, this is the beginning balance okay. before we add any monies for this year, for this year which is article. 26. And the way we think we don't if, if it's not in if we don't already have the money we're not allocating it for a, an actual per purchase. We're not looking to say well it's going to be here in three months or four months or five okay. months. Okay. We don't we're not doing that anymore. We're trying to say, okay, this is what's in here, this is what we're working with. And this is more allocation. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And we changed that a couple of years ago, so it's, it seems to be working better. Mm -hmm. I have to say, I do like the way this was planned this year, because in the past years, you know, you have an article, you know, for the CPC, a lot of it's a longer term borrowing, a lot of it's borrowing, but this year, a lot of it, I thought it was relatively little. Borrowing comparatively, mm -hmm. and a lot of I try. We has. try and keep. We're trying to keep it that way. And this was probably more borrowing than we, we wanted to do. But yeah. when the school lighting came up and everything else, this was sort of a unique situation. We said, okay, let's let's man up and yeah. get and, and do this. We just can't say Fruit Street comes first or the school comes first. We said, okay, they're they're both necessities, and we we bit the bullet. Which means it'll be a little bit tougher for everybody to convince me to do it again next year. <laughs> so what I was going to say, what are the estimated debt payments on those two projects against the CPC? Because they're both 
Which, where, are they, where are they coming from? Uh, active, passive, or recreation. Okay. So if they're both coming from active, passive. We, in fact, we did that calculation this afternoon. And that's why you see the estimated revenues for active, passive, recreation um, projected at 484, 700 going into the bucket. That would be sufficient to cover next year's mm -hmm. debt service uh, okay. operation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then what we do is we look and say, all right, what's, what do we have to spend out of that for the long term borrowing? We pull that out and we say, okay, this is what's left to work with. Mm -hmm. and that's how we treat it every year. Okay, okay any more questions? Thank you, Henry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Henry. Thank, Thank you, Norman. Thank you. Okay, next. Did we want to move to a different room uh, so we can have access? If you need access to Wi Fi, we can move to the next room. Well, I haven't seen the latest oh, uh, AC you. report. I've been using the hotspot. Oh, he's doing your hotspot? I, I would like, yeah, if we could move up because I want to be able to access the, the report. report. Yeah. 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 Okay. Do we need to open the meeting? Yeah, All right. Yeah. I move to open the meeting back up again. Second it. Second it All right. So now we're going over the AC report. Are we going over the AC report, or we do want to do some motions? Uh, you can yeah, do motions and finish off the one. Yeah. Okay. Let's finish up the motions that we had not finished in previous meetings. So the first one would be the supplemental appropriation transfers. Do we have that now? That's the yes. uh, the snow and ice. Article two. So I move the appropriation committee recommend the fiscal year 2018 supplemental appropriations article to transfer from free cash the sum of $700,000 to supplement department 423 FY18 snow and ice deficit for the fiscal year ending June 30th, 2018. I second. All right, discussion? Uh, just a quick question. So this isn't the full amount. This, yeah, this is not the full amount. We, we we have been advised that there may be deficits in water and so enterprise. And we're waiting for market behind consultants to confirm what those numbers are. Right. So could we do anything to on this today? Uh, this is the snow and ice one. Yeah. We just vote snow and ice pending pending the um, the availability of the numbers for for the deficits. Should we not need this, then you don't need to pre vote it. Okay. Yeah. No, we will have the numbers. So, uh, so the, the way I read it, yes. where we voted just for 700000 from free cash to Department 423, it's okay. It's okay. Right. Yeah. And, and then we'd have to reopen if we needed the other beds. Exactly. Yep. Now we have 880 um, as the snow and ice bill, right? So why 700 and not the whole amount? We from free cash. Yeah. This is just from free cash. Oh, just from free cash. So and then the remainder would be an appropriation. Okay. Yeah. In next year, because yes. you're allowed to do that. Yes. But we is it going to be 180 or is it going to be maybe we don't know yet. So far we're keeping up. I don't say anything. There's no more snow. <laughs> snow. You say that every time. Uh, it's done. <laughs> it's almost May. Come on. It will be raised against the, the tax levy next year. Yes. That yeah. year, FY19. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The second, the no more snow. Okay, we ready for a vote? <laughs> all those. <laughs> okay, I got it. All, all those in favor of Article 2 uh, for the supplemental appropriations and transfers say aye. 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 Opposed? 4 0, the motion carries. Um, 
you want to walk us through these yep. first so that then I can think about my article? Yeah. Um, we've uh, received the following uh, bills from previous years. Information Technology Verizon 16270. Information Technology Electronics Reduc 202.86 Information Technology Crossmatch 1906.79 And from Public Works Appropriate Industries 400 Town Council there are two bills One is for 552.50 The other is for 2922.50 Work and Gear Four dollars seventy-eight. Working gear, four dollars. Somebody we, really submitted a bill for eight dollars and seventy-eight cents. Yes. Two bills. Two bills. Imagine how much it might cost. Might have cost them just to produce one of those bills. <laughs> and then facilities, radiant cleaning. This is the cleaning company. Six hundred and ninety-eight seventy-five cents. Uh, the total. The cost is six thousand eight hundred fifty-four eighty-eight cents, and this is broken down as follows: transferring from general fund free cash, the sum of three thousand three hundred and seventy-one ten cents, and then from water enterprise retained earnings, the sum of three thousand four hundred seventy-nine seventy-eight cents, and then from sewer enterprise retained earnings, the sum of four dollars, and then the total is six thousand eight hundred fifty-four eighty-eight cents. So I move the Appropriation Committee recommend the unpaid bills from previous year's article to transfer from general fund free cash the sum of $3,371.10 from Water Enterprise Fund retained earnings the sum of $3,479.78 and from Sewer Enterprise Fund retained earnings $4 even for the bills incurred in a previous year in accordance with the provisions of Chapter 44, Section 64 of the Massachusetts General Laws as described in the draft warrant and motion, draft warrant articles and motions document included in these minutes. I second. Discussion? So, the, um, I have two questions actually. The general, the, the amount for free cash is for the IT and then the other ones are for the respective public. Enterprise for the enterprise funds. Yeah, no yes. funds, except for highway. Does highway fall into that free cash amount? Yes. Okay. And same with facilities too, right? Public right. works facilities. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, so I have one question. I see the the um, the bill for legal counsel. Do we have a retainer with them, and what does that cover, and what doesn't? The re yes, we have a retainer. The retainer covers the general town council services. However, for specialized issues such as matters that may have been approved at town, town meeting mm -hmm. as projects, or special litigation, we have to pay above and beyond. <coughs> do we ever track, and we can, we can do this offline, but I'm curious as to how much we pay above the retainer, um, and what types of projects they were. I'll follow up with you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, that we, we, we've looked into this before. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'll share with you Okay, time. great. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. What is the cross match? Uh, I'm just curious, what does it mean? That's the, that's the vendor name? Yeah, that's the vendor name, yes. Oh. Yeah. Well, never mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we ready for a vote? Oh, I just wanted to say, when the bills I know we've just received in, but what are they dated from? Do I not want to ask that question? I mean, I know they're okay. dated from prior to July 1, 2017. Some are from 2015. Can you find another drawer? No, it's the, um, <laughs> the vendor that then sends us the late bill. Okay. Yeah. Any more questions? 
comments? Are we we're ready for a vote? Mm -hmm. All those in favor of Article 3, unpaid bills from previous fiscal years. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Opposed? 4 to 0, the motion carries. It's a big one, but just one, one point to share with the board. This is similar to a motion uh, that was moved at the last annual town meeting. The only difference is that this time we are identifying the bond premiums as a funding source. Last year we did not. And the financial model that we have in the appropriation report supports these numbers? Correct, yeah. yes. The, there's one piece I need to mention. Um, you will recall that when we went through the operating budget, we identified the receipts reserved for appropriation as a funding source for the fire department budget. <coughs> Remember? Yeah. What we had not done back then was reflecting that number in the fire department's actual budget. Okay. So we have we have now reflected, we've added that number, and that number is uh, five hundred fifteen thousand yeah. and eighty. Yes, five hundred fifteen thousand and eighty. It's added to the uh, to the fire department budget, and the reserve, the receipts reserved for appropriation is identified as a funding source. Therefore, the overall tax impact doesn't change from the last number that we shared with you. Oh, it's not going up. Then it's going to change by point oh one percent. We'll, we'll leave that to mathematicians. <laughs> yeah, point one. Point oh one. Oh, point point oh one. Yeah. So that shows up there. Is that what we're seeing? The ambulance receipt reserve, the five. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. So my yeah. difference there that I have the eighty two three eighty two is exactly five hundred fifteen mm -hmm. off from the eighty two. Eight ninety seven. Exactly. That's I why I can't get it to update. <laughs> that's why. That's why now the the amount to be appropriated, the total amount to be appropriated is ninety million seven hundred and one five hundred and three. Okay. And then we we'll figure. End this of out. the day, yes. End of the day, we were working on making sure that all these numbers then translate to. The spreadsheet that you have. Which is linked. nice yes. because in, in Google they all work. I just have to click update, so clearly I didn't click update to the right one. Yeah. But we'll get it there. Because I also noticed that the, um, the sewer enterprise fund is different. And the same for the water. And it could just be the way. For sure, it's because it doesn't have the indirect cost. The shared, the shared yeah. cost, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. There's the 203921, okay. And parts of it. Yeah, so the next yeah. page shows yeah. it. Exactly. I'm just trying to figure out how the wording of this one is. So your final number was, what did you say the total? It's 90 million, okay. 701, 503. And it's in this document, the one we shared with you tonight. Article 8. Right. It's right here. Oh, OK. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
can just refer to it as written? Yeah, well, that's what I'm going to do, but we also say how it's supported. So um, I move the Appropriation Committee recommend the fiscal 2019 operating budget as written in the draft warrant articles and motions document dated for these minutes as summarized and supported by the line item appropriation section of the Appropriation Committee report. Um, included in the minutes, bringing the total operating budget to $90,701,503. I second. Discussion. So again, just to make sure I understand how this is working. So the indirect costs that are going to be raised from the sewer enterprise and the water enterprise and parks and the rec are not part of what we're appropriating here because those are because you, you have those are their own enterprise fees. Right, exactly. So we don't have to worry about that. That's the responsibility of the committees who govern no. those or no. no. For the enterprise funds to take money from retained earnings mm -hmm. and apply them to their budgets, they need town meeting approval. Okay. Yes. That's why they are listed in this motion. Okay. As a funding source. Right. So like if I look at Sewer Enterprise Fund, for instance, so mm -hmm. we have listed in the motion the um, Sewer Enterprise revenue and then transfer from retained earnings, but we haven't included the indirect cost to be raised. The $273,000, that's from the, to be appropriated in the general fund, because it's town government. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay. So that rolls into the general fund. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Norman, is the bond premiums, is it on a particular set of bonds or all of the outstanding bonds? It's... Were you here when we had this discussion? Yeah. Like two weeks ago, well, about the bond premiums and yeah. how we have these extra bond premiums that can be used towards other capital projects. Right. Yeah, I, I okay. think I heard uh, most of it. Uh, the, the thing I was thinking is, if it's on all the outstanding bonds, uh, wouldn't the number? That's just the open question. I thought the number would be higher if it's on all the open bonds. We have hundred and ten. Yeah. Here's yeah. what happened. Remember, um, last year. Mm -hmm we did appropriate from the bond premiums. However, we did not include the amounts from the borrowing that was done in November of last year. Uh -huh. So this number reflects the borrowings That's from right. that. That's right. That's yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So these numbers tie into what you've got in the report? They so will. Far. Okay. <laughs> they will. That, that, that's the... Uh, so this, I don't it should know. Not. Yeah, it should not because we adjusted that. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. adjusted that, but this one did <clears throat> not get adjusted. Right, this election recommendation. Yeah. But it, sh it, but so then when I go into my line item appropriation, I should, in that number should be different. We'll check. We'll check with Todd. Just from an accounting, from an accounting viewpoint, we just want to make sure we do this correctly. Right. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I didn't put it. Yeah. And that's why when I go to the report, it still doesn't have that numbers off. Yeah. But it's off. Well, the total general fund is off by five hundred fifteen thousand. Mm -hmm. Right. Down at the bottom. Yeah. Did you say how are you going to show this in the actual report? In the budget? Mm But 515000 is being added to the fire department that's paid for by the ambulance 
Is it five fifteen even or five fifteen dollar bill? Okay. And uh, if you actually went and go to the line of the town manager recommend, recommended, yeah. you can see the split of personal services and expenses. Uh, personal services was at four hundred thirty thousand eighty, and then if we go down one. So I just added. Oh, it. I see what you're saying. So yeah. up here, where you're at, okay. Yeah, and then expenses, and then expenses is expenses eighty-five thousand. Okay. So if I can you steal from the town manager rather than the no, no problem from the first button. Yeah. Oh, that's eight nine seven. So oh, uh, that's because this isn't an update yet. Yeah. That's your good enough of those. That's the way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Look at that, that's a beautiful thing. All right, any, any more comments? I do have one. Um, it's more of an observation. Um, I am thrilled that the Library Foundation is funding $443,000 towards the budget. However, I would, and it's being applied to debt service. However, out of all the debt service that the library is paying for this year, I kind of did some quick calculations, like it's in the order of fifty to eighty thousand dollars. That's their piece of it. So what this is actually doing is funding the debt service for other things this year. At the way I, unless it's you know if we use it. You know, of the, I would like to have seen it from the overall borrowing that we do this year. But how this is applied is kind of a soft, it's easing, easing the blow, essentially, of all the debt that we have to pay this year. So next year, we're going to kind of have to make up the difference. I see it. How this, this is kind of being used generally to offset all our debt service. Or not all of our debt service. Um, larger portion than the library in itself for this for this year. Exactly. In, in fact, what we did was we called Unibank and we said to Unibank, what is the library debt service number for FY19? <coughs> they gave us the number. And as we were balancing the budget, initially our thinking was to have the foundation pay the whole amount for the, for the FY19 debt service. However, as we were balancing the budget, we realized that we we, we could at least tap a portion of it. And they're paying, I'm trying to remember what the number was, was it 480? And now it's coming down to 443,956. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So next year, we're going, the, we're going to have to make up a big piece of that in terms of our debt service, because we're still pretty, unless next year's debt service comes down, but we're going to have to take that out of our general uh, revenue, you know, how, you know, from our, our tax levy next year. No? No. no. So we'll go back to the foundation. You can, but... So we paid, this is the amount of the library building that we had to pay, 443,956. But we're not taking all of that from the foundation. You're, we're taking... Oh no, we are taking all of it from the foundation. But you're saying that's how much we owe each year? No, that's how much we owe this year. FY19 is the far left column. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll tell you, I have the number, the FY19 number. But we still have to borrow some for the library, correct? Yes, in fact it's going to be in the fall borrowing. Right. Or the one, are they proposing to do it uh, earlier than fall? I know Mike Mike mm -hmm. uh, better, you know. Maybe it is for maybe yeah. their portion is four hundred thousand, is it? Yeah. yeah. Their portion, yes. We, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you thought it was lower and that we were using library uh, money for other things? I was you know I was thinking of do we want to pay the library's debt service 
all so. at once, or if they raise one million dollars of our what was it originally? Was it going to cost us eight total yeah. or something yeah, like to that? Borrow, so right. if we did a borrowing of fifteen years and use that money to pay the so we're paying yeah. all all of the debt service this year, right. maybe all of it next year, but then after that, we wouldn't expect any more from the library foundation, right. and the town, the, the town yeah. has to pick up the rest. Yep. That was kind of my comment. That and that's still the case, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. But so my thought was, if you used, well, it's I thought we had used softening less. the blow. It's for softening a couple the of years. blow. But would if since we have to go back out and take out more debt for. We could still take out additional debt on the library. Why not use the remaining portion of the million we haven't used from HPLF to not have to borrow that? Right. Is there more to borrow? Yeah, we eight hundred and eighty thousand about. Really? There's a, there's a technicality. Ah. Uh, we 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 did discuss this issue in the office. That when a debt service schedule is set up, the towns don't have the ability to deviate from it. Um, unless you hit the ten-year mark, or some 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 mark, what is it? yeah? Where there's a mark that they call where they, that they refer to as uh, holding the bond. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we we were discussing that issue. I don't know when when that mark is in for the library. So in other words, you, what I heard you saying is, whatever is remaining, let's just pay off from the foundations. No, no, no. Yeah. What's what? Yeah, well, was whatever we still have to borrow is what I was saying. So instead of borrowing, instead of borrowing, instead of borrowing eight hundred eighty-seven thousand, which I think is the amount we need to still borrow, yeah. is borrow, have them pay for a portion, so we don't have to borrow the full amount. The interesting thing again, it depends on the technicality. Okay. And they have the ability to call the bond. Okay. So we're using the million that they raised to pay down the, the debt instead. Yes. Which actually means that they're paying interest as well. So we're not getting, so although they've raised a million, it's not offsetting, it's offsetting the eight million, but it's eight million plus interest. Right. But this is, they're paying down, I take it that 443 is this year's debt service yes. for the library, and that's what they're using it for. Yeah. So, and if next year they can use another 443 to pay it down. Yeah. But then the third year there will be a hundred thousand yeah. left, and now we have to raise through the levy the remain the, the remainder. And that's well, it's excluded, some. so right. we don't. But but it's going to hit the tax. It's, it's going to in terms of tax impact. Yeah. That's why I'm saying this is observation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we ready for a vote at this point? Yeah. Okay. So. All those in favor of Article 8, the fiscal 2019 operating budget, uh, have read the motion, say aye. 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 Opposed? 4 to 0, the motion carries. In, in fact, uh, Mr. Johnson, the person who wrote, I pulled up the email. The grand total for the number of debt service in 19 is 443956.25 and 25 cents, broken down as follows. Two ten thousand principal due. Interest due, 233956 and 25 cents. Okay. It's up there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. No, it's in the top left corner. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you were the only one who have noticed that. No, I was like, <laughs> there's yet no. <laughs> I hope we'll do <laughs> Okay. All right. It is just <laughs> Next. Next is... Part of 26. 26. I move the Appropriation Committee recommend the Community Preservation Fund's article as written in the Warrant Articles and Motions document included in the 423, 18 minutes. I second. Discussion? Um, how did we come up with the equal distribution 
for the three to four line items. This was voted on years ago, right? It's it's ten ten ten, and then and I can't remember. It's yeah, ten ten and forty. No, it's ten percent, ten percent, ten percent for historic community and oh. open space, and, and then fifty percent for active and passive. Yeah, 50%. I think it's in the report actually. I think it was like two thousand seven or two thousand eight when we had that vote. So four in two thousand. No, two thousand one we adopted it. So the CBC, but then we changed the, the act of passive. Oh, right. 10% um, for those, then the remaining 70% can be allocated for any combination of allowed uses or for land or recreation, or for land for recreational use. So it, the, it, the way these got allocated, I think Norman had said before, was to ensure that we've got the money to do the fund to pay for the borrowing for the following year for those two light projects. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. So, and this is a formula we're going to use going forward or just this time? Well, the, the, the three ten percent you have to use. Okay. Then the remaining 70% you can choose which way. So you, that could be changed any year. In fact, I should mention, the reason we're also uh, putting in 480, 4700 into the active and passive locations because the last two years we did not. Mm -hmm. For some reason, yeah. We, we asked the chair why that didn't happen. He, he couldn't remember. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Ready for a vote? Mm -hmm. Uh, Article 26, all those in favor of the uh, motion for a community preservation fund say aye. 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 Nay. No. Did you say nay or no? <laughs> <laughs> it's 4 0, correct? Yes, it's 4 0. <laughs> Against. <laughs> No, two more. Oh. Article 27 and 28. Oh. I move the Appropriation Committee and recommend the Community Preservation Recommendations article as written in the Warren Article of the Motions document included in the 423 2018 minutes. I second this. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm sorry, it's the 418 18 minutes. Yeah. So the one that we had last. Article 27, you yeah. said? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. I second. Discussion. Um, sorry, I don't have your material. It's on the. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's in uh, the next. Uh, no, it should be. It go on the next page. It's 27. You guys, when we got last week. The one from the no, you yeah, have it. If you go, if you go further, you. further in, the motion is back on page twenty-four. I have twenty-two on my page. Wait. Twenty-two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, but we're doing this. Yeah, but I'm doing it. The actual motion piece is on page twenty-four. But here's the beauty of this. Now that we have Wi-Fi. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna go up there instead of me. Now I'm going to speak on this to make sure everybody is. Okay. Oh, now I see it. Yeah. <laughs> the actual motion. Yeah. So That's what I was going for. The yes. actual motion. Yes. Rebecca is g -man. Yes. Okay. Let us see. Okay. <laughs> Mike. Mike, I'm sending it to... Gmail. Send to my Gmail, yeah. Okay. And shall do Gmail. Gmail. Oh, you're sending it now? Yes. Well, it's the same one, it's the one you handed out last week, right? Just, just to have it. <laughs> just, just, just to have it. The most 
up to date. Oh, it's got it's, all the uh, yeah. budgets. It's it's never, sorry, mine would be different than that. Okay. Is the first name Doug, last name? Uh, TTIC.com. TTEC. Okay, let me see. No, Shahidu Manan at gmail.com. That's what you have? Yes. Oh, okay. Is oh, that so correct? That's correct, but I can retrieve it now. I have my office laptop. So you can see oh, it. Oh, oh, to your office one. Yeah. We, we, okay. That's the one we. Okay. It's first name, last name, same. First name, dot last name at ttec.com. Do we have an email address? Probably no. not. Probably okay. not, yeah. Okay. I did it last week, that's why yeah. I have to it, no period in between, just uh, yes, to you, Shahidul dot mana at ttech dot com. T T C dot com. Yeah, ttech dot com. T C not C H. So I'm going to still refer to this though as the motions document included in the four eighteen eighteen minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Which is what we had last week. I think let's refer to the one that, the four that you're sending yes. me. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So the four twenty-three, eighteen minutes. Will that have all of the the ones we've already done here? No. The, These this, are in Word. Okay. Correct. Yes. This just came to us a few minutes before this meeting. <laughs> We will, we will send them over to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. No, Will said he was going to, but, yes. yeah. but I'm thinking from a perspective of attaching, I think... We, we I will th have everything in, in one document and send it over to you tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So it's still be 423, 18 yeah. minutes. Okay. Any, any more discussion? <laughs> not beating that horse. All right. Ready for a vote? All those. This is for uh, Article 27. 26. 27. 27. 27. Community yeah. preservation yeah. recommendations. All those in favor of the motions say aye. 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 Thank you. Say no. Opposed. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Four zero pass. Yep. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Article twenty eight. Under the appropriation committee, recommend the community preservation recommendation of the land acquisitions and borrowing article, as written in the warrant article for motions documented in the four twenty three eighteen minutes. Don't leave me hanging, people. I second. <laughs> I didn't want to do anything out of order. I second it. Yeah. Discussion? Um, sorry, I'm trying to understand. It's not no, going to be on that. It's not on that one. Oh, okay. It's on the one that I gave you. Yeah. yeah. But the numbers? No. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yes, yeah, the three pieces, the 143, 198. Yeah. Dr. Wagner. Oh, come get this handy, Betty, that I'm... I forget I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is... Wait, do we say this was Article 28? Can you open it up? No, I got it right here. It's Article no, yeah, you can open it up. I guess. I just want to make sure we said Article 28, right? Yes. Article 28. Yes. So I'm just, I'm just an article behind. Yes. 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 Okay. All right. Good. Because that's what it is now. here. Okay. We're good. We're good. Yeah. But it looks nice. <laughs> I, I'm still having problems using Chrome. I, I don't use Chrome normally. Because the town hall would help you. No, 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 no. <laughs> I only need to know for three more weeks. No, after you move, we send everything to Google Docs. Share with us. No, the emails with Google Docs. Yeah. That's Make everybody sick on TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, 
And this is the one, this is the latest draft before the other handout that we had tonight. Yes. Okay. Yeah, there was only one CPC article in the handout that we gave out. And right, right. The to Article 26, the funding. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. And the one that we have in the motions document does not have any numbers. Correct. Yeah. Which is why I was just referring, I, I was referring to these motions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm good. There'll be no more questions or comments. Ready for a vote? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's Article 28. Um, community preservation recommendations, land acquisitions, and borrowing. All those in favor of the articles, say aye. 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 Opposed? 4 0. Motion carries. We have voted everything now. Okay, terrific. Next is uh, we want to go to the AC report. This it, it is, but it's a copy of it that I had to download. So make it all this way. Or aren't you fancy? I know. <laughs> um, so there are still some some items that we need to update in this. Yeah. In fact, we 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 all budget your, message. <laughs> or 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 send you the budget message now. Okay. We we we're going to use a bullet listing or bullet listings to explain what has changed in the budgets. Okay. The narrative. And that will help us stay with the stay within the one page. That's, that's perfect. Is it? So budget message, um, um that's a good budget message. We need the tax impact net of new growth for fiscal nineteen. Oh. Oh that's, eighteen. Eighteen. Or for eighteen or nineteen. Mm -hmm. How do you want it for nineteen? It's 19, but yes. I don't know. We always compare. No, I think it's 18 that I need, which I should be able to get myself. I just want to bring this, this one up. Oh, that's pretty nice. I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Norman probably hasn't seen this yet. Yeah. This is based off of... The chat. Well, it's... It's off... It's basically... Oh, well, here's the, the debt service down below. I added some, some rows. So these are the ones that are for this year. Yes. Yeah. And I did it either according to the spreadsheets that we got or using that same percentage, which was three and a half percent, and um, figuring out, although I think on this one, I think I did, no, I did a five year for the technology upgrades. The facilities district wide, I think I did it. Did a five year there too. <laughs> but the other ones I did 10 year, or, oh, Main Street I used 15 year, and then, in the reasonably anticipated, it was pulled off the 10-year capital plans, and I noted if we did five or 10 or 15 years or, tw or 20 years there. But I am open to corrections on the number of years we're using those mm -hmm. and, and how I did it. Do we have, um, on the reasonably anticipated, like the police cruisers, or do we always cover them in the pay as you go? We have historically pay as, pay as you go. So should we continue to not put that in anticipated debt, but instead do? Pay well, as we you don't borrow. Bar I don't think we, we borrow, don't borrow for, for it anymore. Exactly. We, had, we had in the past, actually. Yeah. Then we kind yeah. of said that's ridiculous. Yeah. Right? No, it it was done. You know, when I first came on the board. It was just every year you were borrowing for two cruisers, and I know Ron Eldred said this is ridiculous that it's got to be it should be 
in the operational budget or something because it's consistent. Right. But right now, we've been using with free cash, which isn't bad. At least it's not borrowing. Right. Or okay. But we have some of the fire equipment. Is that just because? That's because that's on the ten-year capital plan. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I, I just said, oh, yeah. Although this one, the E two, that probably it's not an ambulance. So that's that engine may, number two. Yeah, that may be a ten-year borrowing, but I put it in five. But it doesn't hit till <coughs> twenty-two, and and I I wasn't sure. Most vehicles, I think, are probably five years. Is that correct? For a fire What's depreciation, one? five year All the vehicles borrowing. Would you do a f uh, fire vehicles? I mean, because we go through ambulances once every three years. The ambulances yeah. maybe, but it's some of the yeah. bigger engines are it's pretty five. expensive. It's yeah. five, yeah. but the latter I put is ten. It's usually the life for the life of the yeah the expected life expect the expected life right the of the vehicle. Do the yeah. fire yes. vehicles last longer? Uh, it depends on the type yes. of vehicle of fire. So I did conservative five years on that. Mm -hmm. Although it was the latter ten years? Because I don't think we paid that much for that. We paid a million for the used one, but the new one that we'll be buying in 2022, that I'm assuming is going to have a ten year life. Okay. okay. So these are future. These are reasonably anticipated debt. I, the big one that's out there is Marathon School. But I don't know how much more debt we need to take on for that okay. because we're under budget. So we we, have, we may have borrowed everything we need for that. Well, I think um, Norman already put out in his in the, the forecasting, the modeling, that what the expected debt was to be for future years. In the questions and answers. No, that was that was in his model. No, in in that we no. Because we were trying to model what's the debt service, and I, unless that's not accurate. It was so, the the model has only the current borrowings. Are you sure about that? Because we were trying to predict what their future budget's going to be based on our debt yeah, service. The, the the sources and uses document with oh, the yeah, three year with the three year projection. Yep. But this, I don't have any support for this, so. Get service 36, line 36. But does this have, does this have the, um, I thought that was more, it was doing a little bit more than combining these two, correct? But I'm not sure how much more. Wait, 412. What are those two columns? Those, that's FY20. Yes, the same thing. Principal and interest. Okay. And then, so that's 8412 versus. Nine yeah, so you've Sorry. reflected. Yes, we do. But then if I look in here, so 9167. Uh, I keep wanting to see that graph. Uh, <laughs> why is it coming down? <laughs> this is a, I'm still low. Yeah. Yeah. So there must be something in there for marathon that I'm not taking into account. Yeah. What we'll do is we can we can follow up. We can work on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, so right now I like the idea of the graph, but it still does not reflect the M the loss of MSBA. It does right here. Well, in your wording, but not in right. the picture itself. But mm -hmm. it had a little asterisk right there. All right, and that was really I like that. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of formatting there too to get that asterisk to stay on the left. <laughs> so what's the um, a general fund? Okay, it's uh, yes. I can't get those colors and the legend to flip. So why does the debt drop off so much between nineteen and twenty? 
Because I don't have marathon in there. Marathon yeah. school. I think if she uses the numbers that we just put there. It's going to bump right back okay. up. Yeah. So we'll, we'll have to work on that. Okay. okay. But it's just a matter of, so it's a matter of updating these numbers in here correctly. Okay. I still want to see the graph. Yeah, what's the, the graph? Oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Here. But this is just, it's not this a, this? Yeah. 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 Oh, is that the one on the right? You want to, you say you want to look at it? Yeah. But this, it's just the same information. What I can't get it to do, because I haven't updated this graph at all, yeah. the, 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 the yeah. line, yeah. I haven't made a cumulative, so. Yeah. Were you in the town meeting where we showed this graph? It was at the gymnasium, I think the high school That's gymnasium. School. Yeah, the school. It was for the school. <laughs> I will remain for that crap. It didn't look like this. <laughs> no, it, ke it keeps going up. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, is that the Ron Aldridge? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and that was one of the reasons, the compelling reasons why the, the following year we went on to find a, a larger screen for the auditorium. Because mm -hmm. remember, we're in that gymnasium. Pair, right. And then there was this tiny screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that graph looked so. <coughs> Ominous. <laughs> yeah. Well, we didn't choke on being on 19. You just saw it going up. Yeah. 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 But yeah. and I'm, I, I'd be kind of curious because what are the bar, what are the borrowings for the schools? Are they, aren't there some 30 years? So you're not going to see them drop off. Right. The debt service yeah. drop but off. But that is really. in, that is taken into account. Uh, that's one of it. You can put one of it in. Then. Like yeah, you can see it's the ones that make yes. it to the last column. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's uh, yeah, FY forty. So you're still getting this is the the library building did a thirty year, the DBW did some thirty year, and the elementary school did some thirty year. But those are only like six million dollars? Or that's a debt service. That's the debt service. No, okay. for that decade, for the oh, okay. 2040s. Right. Okay, so... So... When you go back to the um, you know, text on the actual chart. Oh, okay. So it just is not going to drop off that quickly. No. And once I actually get the real amounts in, yeah. those are all going to be higher. So you're probably going to be close to seven and a half even here. And we're not projecting up beyond 23. I chose not to, only because it was hard enough to do. So, so, <laughs> so, 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 so do you mind spooling up? I just want to see the text. So I, I made an observation okay. um, that the MSBA funding pretty much goes to zero. Is it accounted for differently with the Marathon School? Yes. So it's just subtracted out, so you're not going to see your payments for MSBA? Correct. Yeah. What happens is they pay it up front, so you don't have to borrow as much up front. Okay. Yeah. Right. They have a pay as you go formula. Right, yeah. right, just right. new. Yes, yes. 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 Yeah. Um, Can, oh, is yeah. it possible? Because I, I'm thinking of the average um, taxpayer here. What What does this mean for the average taxpayer? Does this mean my taxes are going to go down starting in 2020? Because if well, whatever when it starts or. Just that's, that's what we're that's what we're talking that's about. Exactly. That's a good question, right? Because when we show this graph, people may think the taxes are going to go down, but the stuff that we keep adding, right, yeah. right, and that doesn't mm -hmm. happen, right? Yeah. Which is why I tried to get the reasonably anticipated ones yeah. in there and whatnot to show it's not coming back down to five million. Yeah, yeah. If it stays like this, then it'll gradually go down, but it won't. Probably. But the fact that we've done about a 
30-year borrowings, it's going to be more gradual than it has in the past. When you do 20-year, it actually mm -hmm. drops pretty pretty quickly. Yeah. pretty quickly, but a 30-year, it will not drop. I mean, is there something to say in this besides just saying what this is, but to say, you know, to translate this into the impact is, you know, if we didn't add any new projects, well, potentially your taxes could go down, but historically the town, you would not want to go that far. The only no, thing we're not saying you that could do is you could say what the debt service is yeah. for the average tax, average single family home. But I, I, I would definitely say that you can't. It's going to show it's not going down that much because the high schools come. The big reflection is the high school coming off. Right. But it, it, the MSBA funding that we're getting right now is it's almost a wash. Yeah. So you're not going to. There's going to be no that drop off you see because we don't take into account the additional revenue from M MSBA. That they're paying, you don't see it in that chart, so you're not going to see a drop. You're going to see a drop in the debt service, but you're also going to see a drop in the revenue from MSBA. Well, one of the one of the um, ways you could do that is you could show you, you could, could pull the high school out and just show the incremental piece that, that the town be, has to pay. That might be worth it, just showing the, the difference, because at least then you'll see what we're actually paying for debt service and, and it'll be an accurate reflection. Although it won't tie into the report though. The rest of I mean it won't tie into the line item. Like right now if you look at this, that's gonna tie into what we have in the line item for debt service and in the forecast model. If you pull if I can you, I can explain it away if, if we have it in the yeah, or you can put a little another little line yeah, maybe you can it's just, just say, an explanation say, at town meeting. I can give an yeah. explanation. I can give an explanation at town meeting, mm -hmm. but also here you can just put a little, you know, another asterisk. Just says it's the net difference. <coughs> it's the, sure. the difference between it, the, the, the debt service yeah. and minus MSB yeah. reimbursement. So would you like to see instead of this taller chart, just the portion? But it's going to be harder to get back historically. But the portion that is the net difference. So like in fiscal 22, you're going to show $23,000 of debt as opposed to $1.5 million. Because you're going to offset yeah. that from that. I mean, that's taking that's taking a million and a half out of I guess the, the debt people, graph. Are people just going to look at the picture and say, ooh, my debt is dropped off? Or are they going to read the words below right. that explains it? Right. So it's pretty colors, and um, <laughs> but then if somebody asks you, then you can say down. refer to you know it doesn't really, and I'll mention it at a town meeting when I show it's an, to me it's an important slide specifically showing how much the debt has increased. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it clearly shows that we're not going back to 2017 level, even with the current projections, yeah. and then with MSB going down, and if there's additional borrowing, it will only go up. But we and can you can also say, and hey, by the way. This is masking one and a half million dollars, yep. which is going to be directly paid by the taxpayers when that debt rolls off. Mm -hmm. But you will, you you will really have say. 19, 20, and 21. You'll see this, the slope, the angle of decline, and that's really, that's all it is. But we're also going to be taking on new debt, which yeah. you're also starting to show. Right. right. But I have to, that's not going to be as far down because that new debt for the um, marathon when we figure out how much we have to take out, yeah. is going to bump that up. Okay. Okay. Um, but we're also I'm talking about yeah. we're also talking about an article for the an Elmwood school renovation, which is going to cost. Well, that's in there. The renovation itself. No, just the SLI. I mean, that's that's nothing compared to the actual know, cost of the it's renovation not, itself. It's not for. Oh, Although you have Elmwood feasibility 20 years, I don't understand that one. The feasibility because the feasibility gets rolled into the debt. Oh. So actually, I put it in there, and we really aren't going to be paying for that because it gets rolled into the debt for the building or the project. Unless it doesn't get approved, and then we have to pay it off over two years or three. And then the turf, the second turf field, that's the football field and the track. 
and that includes both costs for that. That the high school, the middle school auditorium's been on there for so long that I'm thinking they'll finally do it. <laughs> <laughs> they'll finally somebody will say yes. So yeah, it's going down a little bit. That's how we can keep it up. Oh, we want to keep that up. Or we want to keep that level. And the facilities, that's actually only half of, of Dave Del Tario's $600,000 ask, and it does not include anything for center school. So things so, that are missing on yeah. our center school. And Elmwood. Elmwood, the actual. But I th that, that won't happen, likely, till after this chart's over in terms of the first borrowing for Elmwood. See, that's why I wonder if the chart should go, I know, yeah. it's hard. further. I mean, it's, it's really hard to go farther out. You know, you don't know how things are going to take longer. Yeah, right. Or when but we borrowed for 20 or 30 years. We're only projecting out for... Well, I think we now want to borrow for 20 now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, maybe it's worthwhile to mention it when you say it doesn't include Santa School Elmwood or... Um, when you say center school, are you referring to the, the right? old center thing. school? What about it? For well, it depends. Yeah, the reuse. The reuse. Well, we don't even have any numbers. Right. That's, right, why that's we what we're saying. There. So when but we're it, saying it's going down, but that's something that could happen in 22, yeah. 23 yeah. that we don't have yet. Yeah. Um, Norman, maybe you and I can get together yeah, on the OPEB. Yeah. What the, did you? The, the thought I thought here is instead of showing it against this liability is maybe instead show how much we funded each year against how much we should have funded those years because I am pretty sure in 14 we didn't full fund the full amount or maybe it was 15 and yeah. we, we bumped it up in 17 to catch up and then yeah. 18 was catching up and now we're below again in 19. This is the challenge. I think again, this boils down to what is the message we want to communicate? Because the periods now you are comparing are, are different. Prior findings were based on the actual valuation from three, four years ago. Right. Now we have a different number. Which is why I'm saying, yeah. let's compare it to what that amount should have been in each of those years that we should have funded. And in most cases, we're good. So I think in 17, we caught up completely, or maybe that was 18. Mm -hmm. And so we had fully caught up to that particular actuarial study. And now we've got a new actuarial study. So I'm not worrying about the two colors anymore, mm -hmm. or the second color will be things that we unfund, underfunded in that current year, and how much we should have funded to get to the correct status number. Yeah, so again, the challenge from being then what's the point we're making? Because this year, we're really underfunding it. I know, and then, so I want to show, here's how much we've funded, but we should be up to, so if, we've, if we have a total in there, say, this year of two and a half million, and we should be up to three million, I want to show that gap, not the, not the 30 million total end game liability. Yeah, so as the graph project or articulate that message better than simply stating the number? And, and that's the question I always ask myself before, mm -hmm. before I use a, a chart. Yeah. I think the chart shows that we didn't get there if you just look, if you're only that's looking right. at the pictures. Okay. So with this chart again, this is old. old. Okay, because if I'm, I'm the, the average taxpayer, I would say that we haven't come near to funding at all because you have this huge amount of unfunded liability. Right, but sure. that's over the, so that's why I want to change it because yeah. the total liability was over close to 10 million. That was what our old actuarial study said. Yeah. And now I want to show, instead of the end liability, just how much we're underfunding on an annual basis. Yeah. Okay. So, it's so you're not going to show the blue as much. I mean, right. So yeah. It's, it's going to be much closer, but it's still going to show we're underfunded. So the so number maybe is that you're referring to is how much we should be, but then we're showing how we've been trying to keep up with it. But yet this year, I yeah, yeah, you're saying. Hmm. In how many years would you show? I'm only going up to 19. I haven't updated this at all. So not to nitpick, but um, yeah. are we going to print this out in color? 
We will make it available on the web, on the town website, town website in color. Yes, we'll send it to the local media. We'll send it to the, in color. Exactly. We'll send it also to the individuals that subscribe to the town agendas. Okay. Yeah. And because then we'll print it out in black and white. When it's printed out in black and white, is it going to be difficult to, you know, when you have those shades of blue, I think, are they going to look really close? Um, we did it last year. That's why... Wait, it came out okay? It came out not so bad. Okay. Just checking. Yeah. Because it, it's in grayscale. Yeah. 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 Good. Other good. ones are not as good, but that particular one isn't so bad. Um, and the details. That's, this is where you're going to put the bullets in for that. Then the articles I'll update tomorrow. What we've got. That'll make sure that's correct. We still need in the definitions cherry yeah. sheet. Yeah, we'll, we'll provide that. I did new growth. Yeah, we did. You, did we send you the? I, yeah, you sent me that thing, and I. I Borrowed liberally from it. Okay. Maybe even took it word for word. That's very liberal. The changes in the revolving funds. What I did is I did each one individually. No, I have I that. No, I already did it. You I gave have the it to changes. me. I, did I send it to you the trick changes? No, but what I, I, I did changes. instead Sorry, is I pulled up, I had the warrant from last year in Word, I had the warrant from this year in Word. And I just showed the before and afters. I came through this weekend. Okay. Here's oh, the before I and did after. That, I did that before this weekend. <laughs> just Google cherry sheet. Oh, and you get sheets with cherries on them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe, so do you not like this way or do you want, because they are a little bit different. I mean, this is what the warrant had last year. Yeah. And this is what the warrant has this year. Oh, that's right, Bert. Yeah. Let me show you the trick changes. Are you going to email to me? Is it possible to have one in, like, bold and one in... Somehow it's darker, or how do you relate to what's new and what's old? I said some of the revolving funds have changes proposed to bring them in compliance with Department of Revenue requirements and conjunction with the Municipal Modernization Act. The first of each pair of funds was approved at May 2017 town meeting. The second is the new wording proposed for May 2018 town meeting. I could also just can, write. Can, can you put old. the old in italics or something like that so it kind of looks different in the news? Or something like that. How would that look? Would that look weird? It wouldn't look that different. And then the, the next one. I think, what if I instead here? Mm -hmm. I did that. I guess that works. <laughs> so we can do this, or we can do the track. See, the reason I didn't do the track changes is because there are six columns before, and now there's seven. And there's not a spending limit that I could see. Let me see. Oh. Okay. Article 10 we haven't done yet. The spending limits. Mm. We should have the emailed us. Yeah. We should have the
Thank you. Appropriation Committee recommend the fiscal 2019 revolving fund spending limits article as written in the draft warrant articles and motions document in the 423 18 minutes. I second. Discussion. Please for about seat. Yeah. So are they different from previous years? They are same, the same as last year's. Okay. If they haven't changed, so. You have to right. read up it every year, I believe, right? Yep. Fund spending limits. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? 4 0. Motion carries. Excuse me. Can we check your email now to have the short changes? That's the budget message. You need the budget message. Thank you. And then you have the I don't have it yet. Well, the church. I know. <laughs> there we go. So we'll put this in the appendix instead. Okay. Can, you, can we see what it looks like? Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, let's let's put that as as the appendix. Although, is this going to be in the motion? No, the motion reads so replace it with exactly. that. Exactly. So this is yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can't turn it sideways, <laughs> we, but I'm going to put it in a separate document and then we can merge them in the PDF. We've given this as a, the special assignment for Will for this year. <laughs> to turn it sideways? <laughs> we we'll try to make this look pretty. We can't. <laughs> no, I think if, if we print it landscape, it does look pretty. The you problem is, uh, yes, um, it's if, linked to a spreadsheet. Yeah, I see. I mean, you can make it a JPEG and then turn it around. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I could also do two different PDFs and combine the PDFs and have one going one way and one the other way. But how did Maybe. Turn, but, but oh, how yeah. change the format of the PDF? Uh, I, don't, I asked my brother. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if, if there's more of this spreadsheet expert in terms of making them look pretty, 
let us know. We're, we're I know. I, yeah, we've there's like an add-in for Google, yeah. I think, that allows you to maybe um, have it going different orientations. But the, but the best I'd seen was you basically take two Google Docs and then m merge them together. Yeah. I just saw one thing, one of the column headings has a question mark. Yes, excluded. excluded yes or no. Yeah. Do you want to put the question mark or remove the question mark? No, I think it's asking is it excluded. Okay. I mean, the, the problem is you've got this, I believe, is a com is probably, I don't know. Yeah, and then what happens if you go down, yes, sir, for you, it's one minute, you know, 1,053. What happens with that row? It looks fine. I think it's supposed to, it's it's wrapping is what it is. Yeah. So if you go to here, see how it, it goes? Yeah. But that's supposed to be that same well, line. I should have seen it before I uh, yeah. made it smaller. Four, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the only thing you think you could do is it, instead for this is show fiscal 19 payments and how many more years it has to go. Mm -hmm. And that might, instead of showing it going out now, you know, for the future years out, maybe if you just used. Um, I do have a column at the end of that that says when the last payment is made for fiscal year. So, I mean. Use that. Yeah, so we could do that. We could take. We could take the. Um, just the first. I, I guess it, it depends on how much you want to see. How far out do you want to go, and 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 what do you what do you want to see? I'm open to suggestions. Do we? I guess the question becomes: Do we need to see all of this in the appendix? I think. I, I, well. Do we really need fiscal year twenty-three to thirty-one? No, and I'm thinking what you can do instead is if you show the initial the if we break out fiscal nineteen into principal and interest, you show the the purpose. If it's excluded or not, the principal and interest for fiscal 19, and then that far right column that says um, how long the payments are go through. You see, a lot is. Yeah. We, we that might that. be better. That might be better, and then it'll all go in. Do you have the initial borrowing? Oh, the initial borrowing amount? Yeah. Not in this. No, way. it's not in yeah. the spreadsheet. Yeah. Yeah. The. You see, we thought about that idea, and we got stuck on the concern that people may think, may take this chart literally, and think that the school boy ends in 20, whatever column we end up with. Right. Yeah. That, 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 that was our concern, Mike. That's why we ended up saying, you know, let's just group the outlying years. Or perhaps group them into one. From, instead of, we did it in nine year groupings, isn't it? Perhaps group them from 23 to 49. Yeah. Just do what now? Do I run into the problems? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can just do I, I would only care to see, you know, 20, 21, 22. And you, you see the final year, you know, pay. If I knew the initial borrowing, the number of years, mm -hmm. And then you show a couple of years of the payments. You know, we know it doesn't drop off that so much. Sufficient. So. And then the final year, I like that column. Or the final year of borrowing. Yeah. Or if you have the, the, the principal borrow, the, the initial payments. borrowing amount, and the well, number I, of years. We don't have the initial borrowing amount. That's the issue, right? Uh, you should. I've seen yeah, it on other. I've okay. seen it on this spreadsheet. Oh, I've seen it okay. on other spreadsheets. Yeah. So you have that information. You know, it's a twenty year. You know, it's a thirty year. You know, it's going to go out until. Or you know what's the first so, what's the first year? Somehow you have the year of 
the well, first borrowing in a number of years or something like that. Well, and why isn't there any drop between 20 and 21 for food stream? Uh, that principle didn't We're done. We're done. That, that's the that's, that, the that's when we bought this is Fruit Street, like oh. 2005 or something. Yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking FY20 and FY21, the principal amount didn't change. Oh, because it's a, 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 it's a straight line borrowing. I mean, those are the principles, that's pay down. Oh, okay. So that's, yeah. Yeah. So if you look at, at this number, that's got the 163.4, oh no, it's 167.200, so I lie. But. So I guess the question becomes, what do you want? What do you want to see for this appendix? Do you want to see the? Yeah, I think, yeah. I think it's the yeah, project name, initial borrowing amount, mm -hmm. and then show the borrowing the debt service up to year FY twenty two, and then the year ending. And year start too. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not going to be able to. Because they won't. they not. It won't be spread out. We have to do principal interest. The columns aren't going to be as wide. If you just yeah. say, you know, here's the initial amount. The number of years, the year, the yeah. year passed. I, I've seen what article it was, but in what year. You know, or, but that's not important because we need to know when the first borrowing. At this point, is when the borrowing was first borrowed. Well, assume I can only get up to G. So now tell me what you want in there. You, uh, you think you can only get up to G? I think I can only maybe get. Maybe get an extra one. I mean, you do can you take out. Me, do we care? Can I combine principal and interest? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, just combine debt service. Mm -hmm. Total debt service, right? Yeah. Right. So start with the project name, or start on the far left with the original borrowing. Well, how about if you have instead of fiscal year nineteen payments on the left, you have here's the initial right. borrowing. Okay. Then in parentheses twenty year. Well, the reason it was on the left was. The spreadsheet started out a lot more basic, okay, and then it just kept evolving more and more. So <laughs> mm -hmm. you just have, you know, you have, you have fiscal year nineteen payments. That's good enough, and you can do twenty, twenty one, and then you want to know how many years it goes out because people do want to know how many years are we paying this right. for. So or the initial borrowing, the project name, do you want excluded or not? I don't think so at this point. At this point, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So initial borrowing, project name. Then combine principal and interest payments for the next for nineteen twenty, and I probably can do twenty two, twenty one, and twenty two as well. Yeah. And then the then the uh, the the uh, final year, fiscal year of final payment, right? for the final thing. Mm -hmm. Because that shows, you know, it's going to keep happening. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that'll fit then. Okay. You good on that, Will? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Presentation? Sure. Do it now. Just Has anyone seen it? it? No, only you. No. Okay. And just yeah. to oh, I, I like most of, it. most of it didn't have the numbers in there, but I like yeah. the slide that said, you know, year over year, people are this used to a, what they're this seeing. This is a great slide. I like that first one. Yeah. <laughs> Next. Saying this for the first time. The second bullet, desire for both level services. It's that's pulled from longer. last year. Yes. I'm so just thinking it's that's not longer it's accurate. No, I think it's an expansion. And, but it is yeah. it is a desire for the moderation to the tax impact. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Tax impact to that other 4.99. Yeah. 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 What? <laughs> How about desire for acceptable tax impact to community? No, because some people don't feel, I think it's moderation. I think some people still won't feel that's acceptable. They want it lower? Oh, yeah. Good. How about 
And perhaps this is my, the way how I've summarized this whole budget discussion, where clearly we're a growing organization and the policy makers are saying, as the organization grows, be mindful of expenses. That's, that's how I summarize well, why do we? Why do we like to say we're a growing organization? To the taxpayers, yes. taxpayers don't like to hear that. Why? Why are we growing? Or with respect to the population increased, growing population services and organization needs no, of a growing population. That's a good question too. I I, I think it is for me when the budgets come in at the rate at which they did this year. The services are expanding, the departments are growing, they need in response to the growing needs in the community. That, that's, that's what I saw. And at the same time I had the policy makers saying, yes, we, we understand that's the issue. At the same time, let's make sure that as the organization grows, let's manage the expenses appropriately. Because if we didn't do that, then the expenses would just grow exponentially. Yeah. And this, that's what I, I heard from, from the discussions. So there is a desire to meet growing needs and at the same time moderate the tax impact. In the community? needs in the community. Impact yeah. while containing. Do I need a comment there? Very much is, there is there any highlight on the capital that we need to Litigating. mention on the first page? For in terms of what I did notice that all the borrowings are made within the levy limit. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was thinking when are we early? It's somewhere later, what are the key borrowing items? The it's fields in the... Uh, well, that's within, the, yeah, that's yeah. within the articles and that... Uh, that's in the details. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Using budget highlights. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, so I said that the, all the borrowings are made within the levy limit. Mm -hmm. can, so. can we flip the bullet that you're flashing? Instead of saying desire to meet growing needs, but desire to meet needs of a growing community? Because I think what's what's happening is we're getting more more people in town, which means we need you know, more firefighters, more teachers, more. Yeah, I like how that sounds right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Rather than kind of saying like the people who are already here are demanding more. Right. Yeah. 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 If you want to say a growing diverse community, <laughs> we know it's the first. Okay, on this. Mm -hmm. This I just pulled from Norman's slide. That's okay. also in the appropriation report. Okay. Uh, is that going to change? Yes. Yeah. Things slightly change. I can't update like on this. Like the 10,139 becomes 10,140. <laughs> you, you know the, the format you're using with the thing going down? I think it's going up. I can't. This this is how, this is this is a historical <laughs> format that I've never changed. So what else changed? The uh, is that sixty five now? Let me check. It's got to be. We won't add otherwise. Yeah, I know there was one. Uh, Four eighty two. Yeah, so two sixty five. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, four eighty two is safe. Yeah. Okay. No, I changed it already. I mean, I just changed it. Or, oh, okay. Did these change at all? 
this is this new format that we've that we're starting to use in the in the uh, in our report as well. The one that's been used with the selectmen all year, all budget season. Well, it took me a while to figure out how they actually came up with these numbers. <laughs> it wasn't the, uh, it wasn't intuitive. Non use tax, especially speed, change in levy limit. Like, what, where, you know, what did that come from? Or change in yeah, tax yeah, levy? Those were yeah. kind of com confusing numbers. For which number? Non use tax levy. That was my comment. Is, is what? 1509 instead of 1519. 1509. 0549. Oh, 054? Five, no. Yeah, 054. Okay. okay. And then no. that change in tax levy must have changed to. Seven five seven two one. Four five seven four one. Four one. Five seven four one. I see my ten thousand the wrong way. And change in levy limit though. That should be the same, right? Yeah, three five nine one three six one. Yeah, that mm -hmm. won't change. That's just that's what it is. Do you mind going back to the slide number two? Oh, two? Yeah. Yeah. Tax impact. Stress taxpayers. I mean, we'll be, what did we're you say? Be, stress taxpayers. Oh, the we're going to be stressed? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Here's a suggestion. Yes. Third bullet becomes bullet number one. Second bullet, like the last one. Yeah. Or the second yeah. to last one. So that the, the okay. three years is yeah. Simply say it should be mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he, he's going up. I was just saying it's implicit, implied, but should we mention that 4.99 is <laughs> going up and not the overall tax impact is increase of 4.99, right? Yeah. Well, that's, we've been using that standard term. Standard term? Yeah. yeah. Here's, here's what I'm looking for. If I see the heading, budget highlights. Well, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, what I'm, here's what I'm thinking of. There are some key accomplishments or thresholds in this budget that don't come out mm -hmm. here. This is like yeah. the process. Yeah, this is more of the process versus and then you what does this budget say, This exactly. bullet is, okay, we, we're what? paying this much for this, we save this, this is changing, like just kind of... Exactly, what does this budget accomplish? Mm -hmm. So why yeah. don't you just say fiscal 2019 budget? Maybe yeah. process, but yeah. like overview or something. Or well, don't forget, when I give this presentation, then you give I, all the I, I, I've already given the motion yeah. for the budget. So now I'm going over what's in the budget. Because, again, the highlights, operating budget, what is the key highlight of the operating budget? Do we have that in, like, in, the, in the, I'm looking at slide five, I haven't seen this yet, so I'm looking at slide five. Yeah. So why don't we go through it then? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. so we have yeah. this. Because eventually we do. See, I only shared it with Mike to avoid open meeting law. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tax impact, okay. which we saw. Yeah. This is the what's happening to our levy. Exactly. These are those the funds. Oh. You know, everything's kind of out of order here. I yeah. changed it around. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're talking about budget highlights, you had slide two is budget highlights, and you have continued is slide six. I know. Six. I did. Yeah. I yeah. moved this around the order. This is what we're the looking order. for. Yeah. Yeah. This is exactly what I was. But yeah. I, then I sort of was like, no, I want to hit that tax impact. So you maybe that's like the last slide we showed here. I know. You know. When you see everything, go and in conclusion, and finally, yeah. Yeah. So okay. I have this. Let's keep going. Yeah. 
That's fine. Then I have this is the revenue, the other revenue besides property taxes. This is. Just breakdown of the increase. This is last year's. This is last year's. It's why it says need to update. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't. So it's it's yeah. That's my problem. I think six and seven become too detailed. We've been shown, I mean, the yeah, people complain, we've been shown like these year it, over year. That's good information. Yeah. Because then I explain, you know, I, got, I don't, you know, the ones that have the major pops or whatever, you, I explain which ones are, why, why. Well, we've got the report now, but yeah. that's assuming people have. People read it, they want, yeah. the I, medical ones not, can read it. Yeah, I think this is important to show when you're, you know. Because you're coming down to that in. total, yeah, 90 yeah. million. Right. This is the one you. I wanted it to be consistent with last year. We also included the debt service because mm -hmm. people look at. I know Gene comes up and he goes, "Last year I was this percent." Was, you can see what has changed year over year mm -hmm. for people. Some of the hundred twenty people who show up, someone notices. Well, last year, how how is that chart changing year over year? Are, yes. You know, what else are people looking at on this one? Uh, well, you had that up here. There's your debt service that's going to show up. Um, yeah, we want to see I, how much of your operational budget do we pay uh, in terms of the debt service. So it's not by you're thinking like a bar, comparison bar? No. We've always, we've done we've this. We've done this really this ugly shoot. chart. Oh. <laughs> Let me, um, quite a few. Let me go to the... And by the way, we we moved everything, everything to Google Drive, so that it doesn't disappear with Tom's information <laughs> to call it out. Oh. <laughs> it's very organized, so it's very easy to follow. It was very easy. If you have access to Google Docs. Mm -hmm. sure. Well, you just need to get yourself an Apple. <laughs> or a non-work PC. Right. That's the one you want. That, trust me, that's last year's. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's education they, I, right I, there. I think they fixed it by the one I had. Uh, just maybe this is this is the final, according to my documents. That's really ugly. <laughs> it's really ugly. Yeah, this is not. <laughs> but I don't remember seeing it. Give me a second. Like that. That's yeah. not it. it. Looks a lot better on mine though. Uh, I thought. But I heard you might say you wanted to show comparison. I mean, you're using. I mean, at least having this one, I can. You can read the different sections going around. No. Is it about the same? Oh yeah, that doesn't. Oh, the PDF. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking at the percentages. I like the percentages. I know, that's just the worst pie chart in the world. It doesn't have to be like that one, but it has to be the percentage operating budget by a category. Oh, the only way you can do that is if you include all the sewer, all the enterprise funds, the CPC, mm. otherwise it's not going to be the same. But what's the difference? Go back to your No, 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 no. I think you just have to add the percentages, that's right. it. No, ignore this one. And this one, you don't have the person. Oh, you do have the person. I don't have debt, and I don't have enterprise. Oh, okay. This is solely general fund general operating. Fund. Yeah. Mm. That's the issue. Mm -hmm. Is is on the other one. It has literally everything. everything. That adds up to the eighty two yeah. million or so this public year, school, ninety million. Correct. So public school goes down to fifty two instead of sixty one. When you take into account debt service yeah, yeah. and yeah. enterprise funds and which aren't that much, but well, if you switch in the risk setting, because I think you need to tell people why, because they're going to probably increase that much than that. In fact, there are several reasons why they switch. Makes at least for me makes sense. If you go back to that chart, the the one, last one is one mi one mixing things that are not related at all. Yeah. The enterprise funds, for example, 
They're self-funding. They're self-funding. That's number one. And then number two, the same individuals who may be paying towards the enterprise as rate payers are also contributing to the general fund. And not everybody does that. Right. So, so this really is... Delivery makes sense. Yeah, it, it just mixes up a lot of things that are not related. The only Whereas, thing I think you could think about doing here is maybe throw debt service in there too. Unfortunately, he, he, this is the second reason. All the analysis that we've done preparing for this budget has followed this formula. Right. Isn't and it? this is how it's you also, service. when we had, when the Board of Selectmen said, I want to go from seven to five, yes. was based off these percentages. It's based on these percentages. Can we show instead of, to show debt service, are we showing the biograph that we're just looking at? Yeah. But it doesn't, I, I understand. Or how about a slide that shows, you know, operating budget and then the debt and show how. I mean, when you have the debt service in there, what it shows is what percentage right of your there. overall budget is, is debt. You could add right. a column here. It says percentage of budget. Right. Or you could just tell people. Because this, this is the, actually, I like this one. This is, you know, I don't like the three that, dimensional. That's two years ago. That's the fiscal that's year the six. Years. Three years ago. <laughs> three. Oh, oh FY16? I don't think I have that one. And this is where we actually have the slide I like. The one that shows. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. I have this. That's the one you like. Yeah, I like in just two dimensions rather than just three dimensional. I know. Yeah, <laughs> that's all going down. Yeah. Nothing, but nothing has been authorized. We're not doing projections of prior projections. This is prior to if Brian has fifty million. Yeah, yeah. And a new new project, but it yeah. shows how this when we did this one just showed how the debt was quickly coming off. Right. Mm -hmm. But here's the. But did you have? Uh, I'm sorry, a slide that had the um, debt service kind of. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah. It, it, here's what might be interesting. I just pulled that from yeah. the same one. Remember how you had the other chapter that just kept saying we want to see, we want to see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you might put be that one in here instead. Yes. You know what might be interesting is to overlay that chart over the one from 2015. And I think it will show the... From this one? Yes. And and, and overlay the the chart that we, we were showing. Here I'm out four, of four, my four. wheelhouse. Yeah, but here's the point. Here's the point. Here's the point. Here's the point. This is what we keep saying, that why this might look great, it's misleading. Right, because, because this we keep is what... Adding, we keep adding well, to... Well, what I yeah. could do is, even using the prior projected total, compare that against the prior projected total for this year. But I only go up to fiscal 18. Yeah. And I can't. I remember what my message was in those presentations that as that debt service is coming off, I was hoping to be able to gradually stagger the new project so they wouldn't all hit in one year. Right. But we yeah. just couldn't, you couldn't time it because yeah. when the state gave approval, the state gave approval and you couldn't change those factors. And that was your message. Yes. You know, I try to say yeah. if we can carefully stagger these projects, that's what, why it would have been nice to have the school when it was originally proposed. And that put the library and the DPW all came at the same time. But what about, I mean, if we use the, um, the pie chart that doesn't have debt service, could we then have something uh, that shows the debt service as part of your total tax package? Yeah, well, it's, the chart does. Yeah. This does. Yeah, that chart but doesn't does. show percentages, though? So it does. Well, that's no, percent change. change. That's percent oh, okay. change. I, I mean, you could. Right. It but just shows how, every, how much of your budget is now is now debt right. service. I, maybe it's not a chart. I think so I put a little pie in the corner. Where did I, oh, I know what I started mm -hmm. to do. In the, in the appropriation report, 
You're going to make people read about it is what it comes down to. I started to write in here, debt services increased from 10% of total uses to 11%. So in this, you can get some of the highlights in this way. Yeah, I don't know if people are going to read that, but they're going to see the presentation. I know. That's the thing. Well. I mean, debt service in fiscal year 16 was 6.3%. Got from six point three percent up to eleven. Yeah. I mean that's eleven percent of what? Ninety million. Or whatever the overall budget was yeah. back then. Well, I'm saying eleven percent of the the total oh, budget right, right now. Yeah. Right. Maybe you show a graph of that. Show how it's increasing. Good to show. No, I'm trying to remember what the financial policy says. The level should be at. Yeah. Those tempers? Those are like ten percent. Your borrowing should not exceed ten percent. That box is up to your debt service. Um, that's our debt debt ceiling. That's the that's not the that's, that's the financial plan, whatever you call it. Uh, where where is the financial plan? Financial policy. Ten percent. We are at eleven. I know. Hmm. Oh, uh, I don't have it. One would think that I would. But I don't. Also, the under general for one. Let me just over a management policy. Can you I can. Thanks. I don't know if this is the final one. Is there some lawyer in here that's going to tell me? Did it change from 10 to 15 percent? Mm -hmm. So at one point it was 10 percent and it looked like it was 15. Good thing. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, we're at 11. Could you email it to me? Yes. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I don't have the overall. There's a lot of stuff I have in here. <laughs> Which is why I got thrown up into the Google oh, good. Drive. Yeah. <laughs> and it got it it got thrown up into my town Google Drive. Is that something that we can access on the corporation code? Yeah, I can yes. share it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, do we have a place to move it? No, no, it's it's my, it's it's the town one. Oh, oh it's on my town email. So, yeah. So, yeah, so it's got it's got a lot of stuff in there. I don't know how to share a drive, but I'm sure I'll figure that out. Can you share a drive? You can, can't you? Because I've done it before with the charter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll work with you tomorrow. It's a new time. <laughs> yeah. So can we see the rest of the presentation? That's quarter time already. So. Yeah, I'm hitting my limit. It's that was it. Yeah, it's down. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I think the way to do this is for people to have comments to send them to you. Yes. And then you can update. Yeah. Or or we can work on yeah. updating it and then yeah. Yes, we so can authorize to work with us. Yeah. Yes. No share yeah. the document with uh, us or Oh yeah, I can do that right now actually. Quickly do we have any slide for the volume details? The tarp fill, just the highlights? Oh yes, the individual components will have those for town meeting. But we don't have any slides saying these are the four things we are borrowing for. Oh, I'm sharing the presentation. That's the I'm going to work on so in terms of the right. highlights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's what this budget accomplishes. It finds all okay. the budgets. It finds all PIP. It meets all the contractual obligations, including debt service. It finds the following capital to keep uh, projects. Key projects. The okay. key, key capital projects. And then we list them. Okay. Yeah. And schools doing their own yeah, presentation? Mm, this, this is... 
for the appropriations committee, which is all right. Right, but yes. then is school, the school doing a separate presentation for their budget? They will do. The budget. They, will do they will do their. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just like we've done in the past, the superintendent will come up and speak to the budget. Yeah. And, and you know, in the past, when we talk about the capital articles, I did recall that I had a discussion somewhere bar, you know, this amount in pays you go, okay. um, free, using free cash, also we want to make the comment on that, and then mm -hmm. um, borrow, you know, the two borrowings are for turf fields and, right. and the quarter project. The two large ones. Yeah. Well, I think there are, there are some other borrowings. Yeah, the small too, ones. But some trucks. No, no, no. It's a campus master plan and technology and was some it a, Was it a big dump truck or something? Mm -mm. The, um, they were within the enterprise funds. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, comments on this sent to Norman. Okay. And then, you know. Yeah, just make it accurate, and I'll explain the drop off as you know, the MSBA. I'll mention that too. Yeah, but you do not like this. I want. I like that in there. If nothing else, put the debt in there. So put a little in the right like here. Put a little one that shows the debt in the. Well, just have it a piece of the pie. Yeah. So, Is there anything that shows the levy excess levy capacity, or is it that one chart at the beginning? Uh, yes. Oops, sorry. One more up high. Tell me about the order too when you go through this. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. I did push them around, so the titles aren't always obviously right. But so this shows the unused levy. There's the excess levy. It's right here, and here. I don't. I don't particularly like this slide. It's, yeah. it's just a new way of doing things. Shaking your head. This is consistent with the with how it's calculated. Yeah. Yeah. But change in tax levy, change in levy limit. Yeah. What does that? What does that? What does that mean to people? You know. Right. Um, I would change your order too, and have the unused tax levy be on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. It, you, yeah, so you I mean, the it, prior it, it, tax loan. I went through with a calculator trying to calculate how you came up with these numbers, and it, you know, the order that it was in it just was not intuitive how to, you know, how to come up with the change in levy limit. I think I took different combinations of adding and subtracting all the different numbers until I finally hit the one that came out exact. Because <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't figure out how did, how did they calculate the, the change. Well, maybe it's just a matter of education then. No, I know. You want to be able to go. The... I mean, what is the change in levy limit? It's just. Compared to you, have you, you know, you know, you have your excess levy capacity, that which is really the. That should just be these two: the statutory two and a half and the new growth. That's your change in your levy limit. Right. But then the change in the tax levy is that levy plus the change in your unused. No, and then more <laughs> on the debt exclusion. Uh, so, so why do we need a change in levy? You see the new growth, and you see the. Two and a half. Yeah, I can put, I can pull yeah. that out. Yeah. I mean, you. I would say use show the unused tax levy because that's. Oh, gads. I almost like instead of I guess unused tax levy or excess, excess le tax. levy capacity. Yeah. Because your tax levy is what we. We we 
tax, tax the customer. We tax people. So, so your unused tax levy. What does what does that mean? Instead of you know, use your we have excess levy capacity or ability. Right. Not That's unused tax levy. Well, right. It's unused tax levy capacity or something like that. Oh, yeah, I think you want to know what the excess is. That's what unused tax levy means. Right. Excess no, levy capacity. I think people are used to hearing the words excess. That's all. Well, let's invite new people to town meeting. It's no one's agent. I know. It's okay. yeah. So instead of unused tax levy, what if I said excess levy capacity? I like that. Yeah. Ah! So why does that have to be um, in parentheses? Which one? Excess the excess levy capacity. It almost shows it's a negative. It's how much is left over. But, uh, it almost looks like a deficit. Yeah. Can you, when you go over it, Mike, you want to do like logical Step by step. Step by step. As you're going down. Yeah, I mean, that's how people calculate it. So, oh, you're adding these up and these are the right. totals, you're subtracting things. And, um, so just make them positive, then, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because it almost makes it look like a deficit mm -hmm. or a loss or something like that. It's not really. It's not. So prior year, uh, how do we calculate it down? Unused and statutory. So you have your un, your excess your le excess levy capacity from the year before. Hmm. You can add your prop two and a half. You can add your new growth. Mm -hmm. Add your um, debt exclusions. Last year you had the debt exclusions don't fall under the levy capacity, but, but it adds up in the change in tax levy. Are they adding up? Two, two, two. Yeah. When you calculate the excess levy capacity, you take out the debt exclusions. They don't count towards the levy capacity. Hmm. But it's what you can. Yeah. But so it, it adds you, into your tax levy. Your change in your tax in your excess levy. So you want me to call that prior years? Prior blah. Prior year excess levy. Mm, right. So if you take your prior year excess levy, the difference between that and your and your current one at the bottom, that's six hundred thousand or so, add in the statutory two and a half, add in the new growth, and add in the debt exclusions, and that's five yeah. million seven forty one. Uh. So you know what? Could you put an underline here, put this here, move this row here, and then have the excess below so that people could almost see? Did you just add all it those numbers up? I did. It doesn't work that way, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what you could do, I mean, you what? could have a line that just says excess levy capacity. You could say change in excess levy, because right. that's that's the it's the difference between the two million one ten and the one million five oh nine. And, we, and what used to have was the base levy to calculate the prop. Because that's how you can calculate your prop two and a half. Right. Is off of the base levy, so we used to that used to be the starting point, right. not really the prior year excess levy exactly. capacity. Exactly. Yeah. That. Yep. Yeah. Um. You want to go back to that, don't you? I do <laughs> kind of like that. <laughs> you know what? It's, okay. <laughs> it's not what Massachusetts, it's not what the Commonwealth DOR uses. That's why when people do their own research, they come back and they get even more confused. And also, the numbers that we're showing here, people go to the DOR um, website and what we may have registered is 54, 420, 
is which is that there's 56 something. So that's where the confusion was. So what's our point of the slide? What is the message we're trying to say here? For me, how much are, for me it's, it, what I see is how much we're additionally taxing, how much we're expecting taxpayers to pay change this year. We're yes. expecting them to pay another $5.7 million yeah. over last year. Yeah. What you could... But it's also important to show that this is what the new growth is. It really highlights how much of the new growth... What we're anticipating. Is, ...helps alleviate the tax burden on uh, what we could, residents. What we could do is, is... Oh, go ahead. So, to your point, though, there's a key number that's missing there. What are the things that offset the tax impact? New growth, free cash, and this year we're using... Private, privately mm -hmm. yeah. raised donations. Money, yeah. yeah. So again, I seem to line up with with, with Pim's comment. I think the key point is to convey and articulate what's changing in terms of how much we're taxing people. What and is what's changing is what we have to raise an additional five point seven million. This is how we. Why is don't we instead of having the prior excess levy line and the excess levy capacity line, you just say. Statutory two and a half percent, new growth, yeah. override, underride, debt exclusions, change in levy capacity. And leave out excess levy capacity? Yeah, and then that way you'll just use the two million one ten minus the one five oh nine and it'll be a positive number. So it's the amount you've taken or or um it you basically I don't know how to word it though, but it's your use of the excess levy capacity mm -hmm. or reduction in excess levy capacity is might be the correct word. Or because uh, you're you wanted to show it's going to be a positive number to add up the five point seven million, but you need to let them know, let people know that it's actually a negative number in the sense of we're reducing our levy, we're ex or our excess levy. We're eating into it. You understand what I'm getting at there? When you when you showed it was a negative, the excess levy capacity. Well, do we show in the budget slides? I'm just trying to tie it all in. The change, the actual dollar amount that ties back to that five point seven million. That's why it's actually pretty good to have the excess levy capacity as the last, the last one, the last item in the, the last row. Because it really shows this is your bill, this is what the town is allowed to tax. And the excess levy now is 1.5 Um, is it 1509 or 1.5? And that was updated this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it plan after 90 million? This is 88 million. So this, I don't know what this number is going to be, but this number will be. Mm -hmm. Here's the good thing. Are you using Google Sheets? Yes. No, not Sheets. Uh, this is PowerPoint. Oh, yeah. It's Google PowerPoint. Do you mind split it up to five? Click mm -hmm. my click on file. Your file. Oh, file. Yeah. Just want to check one thing. What do you want me to do? Okay. Yeah. This is what I was looking for. If you go down to version history. Yeah. So all these changes you are making, you can track them. Oh, I just copied and put a new picture in. Oh, okay. Because I didn't, I didn't want to. See, 
That's the old one. That's the old one. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Certainty, yeah. I didn't take it completely. I mean, yeah. I, these two changes are still the same, but yeah. but this one is. So this, if you add all these numbers up, there's your change. Yeah. If you had not done that, you could go through five, revision history. Yeah. And yeah. Yes. <laughs> so what is the reduction of? Reduction of excess levy. So that's how much we're eating into the excess levy capacity. Oh. And there's our change in tax levy. Okay. So do you say add excess all levy those capacity instead of just levy? No, because it doesn't fill that line. Okay. <laughs> do you know, I've always wondered about that. That, that term? That methodology. Oh. Reduction of excess levy. It's not a constant. No, I know. It changes depending on what you're doing to the budget. You okay, put dip into excess so, levy. To show how we're use of excess levy. Yeah. Use yeah, of use of levy. Of, yeah. Oops. So in FY twenty eight we used two point one. No, I haven't changed that. Okay. Because I don't I have to go back and figure that one out. Mm. Let the flow on this one. Um, is it red? Well, is it my yeah. use of excess levy capacity? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this, this, that's the problem, is there's not a good way I to like say that. it. No, I like that. No, I understand it. Because <laughs> <laughs> then you tie it that, to I, the budget. That, that makes no sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> so if we're showing the budget, and the budget is, we need to, the budget's going to increase by 5.7 million. This is going to show how the mice, how we're going to, fund the budget. Well, you could also see that if you just had excess levy capacity and you had the latest numbers. Yeah. I, to your point, this only speaks to how do your local taxes contribute to funding the budget. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. This is only local taxes. Right. Right. It's only a piece of the total sources. Yeah. Maybe that's through the title. Right, yeah. <laughs> it says real estate and personal property taxes. It's actually only real estate because it's not, it's not the, um, where did this one? Personal property. It's not local receipts. You know, let's keep working on this. We'll yeah. Up on yeah. It's already after 10. Yeah. We're supposed to yeah. have played around. Do you know one thing I wanted to just share? Do you mind going to the new website? The new website? Yes. I don't know if... The new town website? Yes. The new website? Yes. Yeah. That I was actually old. Uh, yes. All I want to know is, is it recycling week or is it not recycling week? Is it a holiday? <laughs> no, I, I had to find that stuff. I did. I did. I did. Uh, I did. No. No, pilot. I'll click on pilot. I did. It's thinking. Okay. Uh, it did many times. <laughs> come down. Yeah, I like it. Uh, the transparency okay. center. Transparency center. And then... I'm glad you're here. Okay, come down, come down. What doing? No, it's lagging there. It's okay. not lagging here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, click on the visual budget. Where? Oh, here? Yeah, yes. Please. Have you seen this? No. Because I haven't. Yeah. Oh, you got uh, visual. You want to start, yeah, to start the tunnel and dive in? Oh. See, we're gonna have to learn new stuff anyway. Next, next, next. Oh, I'm taking a tour. That's right. Yes, you can choose which year you want to do. This is nice. So, who did this? Who, who, who is the vendor who did this? We have two vendors doing this. There's one vendor doing this graph. There's another vendor doing clear graph. So we have two pieces. Are we pulling both? Yes, yes we do too. We're almost, we're almost ready with clay gum. No point for us doing a report anymore. I'll just... Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is it. Yeah. That's that's nice. good. Yes. Because there was one it's company in Arlington. you seen that. There was one company in Arlington. Is that the one that you did? That's Vizgov, right? 
Uh, there was one Hopkinton was doing. Hopkinton. Clear, Hopkinton. Uh, it's not. It, they're not in Hopkinton anymore now. They're up 495. Yeah, they moved somewhere yesterday. I can't remember. Okay. Visco, the other one was out of Arlington. Yes. They've been doing it for years. I yeah. think that's Visgov. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. If anybody wants to buy a Lego, I'm okay. so <laughs> I just want to mention that we have a way this too. Okay. Yeah, okay. We're still test running it. We're cleaning up in the numbers. Uh, yeah. And I've, I've emailed you the financial policies. Yes, I saw that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're ready to. Sure. Can we do a quick minute? We have minutes sure. from. Uh, so last week? The 18th. Yeah, April 18th. Somebody um, I move we accept the minutes from April 18th. Second. Discussion. Thanks for getting them done so quickly. Yeah. All those in favor of the April 18th minutes say aye. 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 Opposed? 4 0. And move to adjourn. Do we, need a, do we need a meeting on Thursday? We have one on Thursday and we need it. We do? We have to finalize that at a appropriation report. In which case I will get with Norman and Will tomorrow. We'll finalize it, okay. send it out, and then we'll vote and then we'll also talk this. Okay. I might be a little late. I don't know if I'll be I'm going to be here on Thursday. And you, I'm sorry, you cannot be here? Correct. I would be on an airplane, so I can't even call it. <laughs> can, we, can we change it to 7.30 to start? Yes, we yeah, have time. Okay. All those favor of journey, say aye. 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 Who seconded? I did. Thank you.